Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today is a very short and special episode. Um, as you can see, I am building uh, some, or I am using the new uh, food truck because I am building a little Christmas market um, in Antwerp Zoo by the entrance, as you can see. So my idea was, well, um, Christmas markets are very abundant in uh, Western Europe maybe even Europe as a whole and especially in Belgium with uh, COVID restrictions and stuff like that most of them have been cancelled so I thought why not make one um, in Planet Zoo of course it won't have the same feeling it won't be the uh, the same but um, this way I can still have this nice little Christmas feeling even though we're all locked up and we can go nowhere to have fun I guess so yeah, I'm just using a lot of the new pieces that came in the Euro pack, including um, these new fairy lights, uh, including the food truck, of course, but also later on uh, some of the marquee pieces, some of the new wood pieces even. And the uh, idea was to have like a food truck that is basically uh, a friture, as we call it, which is basically like a giant uh, frying pan or something on wheels where you can get uh, fries and stuff and uh, snacks and everything it's very uh, it's typically Belgium I think it even uh, is recognized as like cultural heritage or something uh, in our country uh, and we're very protective about it but here I put some of uh, I put like a little Christmas uh, market stand uh, nothing too like difficult like I didn't go into that much detail uh, for example I didn't really make any shelves with stuff they sell or anything I just put uh, some socks on the wall there because um, I I really didn't have that much time to make this uh, I was in a I, I'm in a bunch of other different projects uh, at the moment uh, you probably saw the live stream uh, Nicholas Limerider did uh, by the time this comes out probably two days ago <laughs> yeah but uh, so it was in that project uh, collaboration zoo that we did uh, so that is taking some of my time then I'm also making all of the JWE2 dinosaurs into Planet Zoo mods which takes quite some time um, but I very much enjoy that because this game could use with some different kind of zoos uh, not every zoo should have animals we should have some like maybe even theme parks maybe even dinosaur parks so I'm very excited to see whether people will start uh, doing that um, what else of course Christmas is coming so very busy with Christmas stuff um, spider-man came out so that took some attention and time away from me absolutely love the movie uh, I even think it's the best Marvel movie that came out in like ever <laughs> uh, yeah that's some stuff that was on my mind um, and there's some other stuff I'm working on right now right now uh, I'm working on a modding wiki so basically a wiki that has tutorials for modding and stuff if you want to get into that the idea is to get as many people or as many like established mothers who know stuff uh, as possible to make some articles on there uh, on more advanced stuff like acid transplants and uh, scenery modding and stuff like that um, basically to have a library of knowledge uh, that we can fall back onto if uh, if we need to and stuff like that because even advanced or experienced mothers sometimes have to ask for help uh, from other people like I will know something that someone else won't know and they will something know something I don't know um, it's just like any other job where people know different stuff and are experienced with uh, different stuff but yeah I really like this these little lights I did here uh, but we are <laughs> already coming up to the end uh, of the time lapse of the speed build, uh, as I said, it's a really short video today. Uh, but yeah, I I will 
speak about some more stuff probably during the live part of this video. Uh, some news of Antwerp Zoo, about Antwerp Zoo, some news uh, about the new Europe pack and stuff like that because I didn't really, I don't think I really used it uh, or talked about it, sorry, in my video, but I definitely did use it. But without further ado, let's get into the life part of the video. And we're live inside the game. Uh, I've seen some people shivering. Yeah, they are cold. Why Why are you clothed like this? There, you don't have enough clothes for this kind of weather. We are here at the entrance and it's looking so cool. Um, I really like how the how these lights turned out. Somehow reminds me of like a, a DNA strand. Uh, you know, like DNA has four, um, like these four different bases, I think. Um, and they, they are usually colored like red, green, blue and yellow. So I'm using the same color. So it's like kind of like an unraveled DNA strand, maybe. But yeah, I really like these new uh, Christmas uh, decorative pieces here. I know we'll only like use, <coughs> sorry, I know we'll only like use them around this time of year, but nonetheless, I really, really like them. And some people like it to be Christmas all year, so I, so there's probably some people that are going to continue using them. <laughs> but then we come in here and we have our nice little Christmas tree uh, with a nice little star on top there. I don't know, there's like an official name for that. I think but I don't know it in English we have our little gifts underneath here uh, that are currently getting snowed under <laughs> unfortunately yeah then we have our uh, little Christmas markets with a uh, with our uh, little Christmas stands here or market stall stalls so yeah I really like how they now added these counters um, which allows us to basically make these kinds of things uh, what else and uh, looks like this one is probably not connected to the path but yeah I kind of had to delete some path here um, and there's like no Christmas markets on or uh, stalls on this side uh, or facing that side um, neither on this side so yeah you really have to go through the middle here if you want to enjoy this Christmas market but yeah I don't know if if Andrew Zoo ever has ever done this I don't think so because this square hasn't been open for that long yet but it would be amazing if they actually did like a full-on Christmas market on their entrance square because they have to they do have enough space to do something like this I think and it would just be amazing imagine if you arrive in the train station and you come out and you go to the zoo and you see this entire like Christmas village here uh, looks like this guy's probably stuck um, or he's just advertising this Christmas market stall like come here come here hello come here yes come here yeah that's what he what he's doing yeah but then we come over here um, this is unfortunately the end of the Christmas market but we have this nice little choir here I must be honest I did not make this myself uh, this is from the steam workshop uh, I don't remember who made this I can probably check uh, but I would have to go outside of let's just quickly uh, let's just go out of first person mode and check who made this because I really like how derpy they are um, yeah so these were made by uh, Alizane Blackwood. So thank you Alizane Blackwood for this amazing uh, piece of art. I really like how derpy they are. They are, they are a bit too big of course compared to the scale of the other uh, visitors. But just imagine these like being people in some sort of costume or something that makes them this big. It wouldn't be too out of place. But then of course over here we have our little friture, our little, little like uh, frying food truck or something I don't know how, how it's called in, in English but yeah this is typically Belgian this is like every corner of the street almost has almost has something like this like 
I can at least like I know at least three different of these food trucks uh, in my own town so <laughs> yeah it's really really a Belgian thing but yeah that's like the only Christmas de decoration I did around the zoo like I said I didn't have too much time I was busy with a lot of other things uh, but I'm very excited to show you uh, in a future episode what I did with Antwerp Zoo. Right now it's a bit covered under a blanket of snow, but um, I, I did rework some, uh, some, yeah, I know. I did rework some um, stuff behind the scenes and stuff with the new Europe uh, pieces, Europe pack pieces. Which, in my opinion, uh, I don't know if I've said this before, but it is the best DLC we have got so far. Okay, aquatic pack added aquatic and swimming animals, but the Europe pack just adds so much more. Like, the, the animals may not be perfect, they may not be the most popular animals, they may not be the most exciting animals, but the pieces, man, the pieces really make this pack. Anyways... That has been it for this episode. I think it has turned out a little bit longer than I had anticipated. But I do hope I will see you in a next video. And I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you in the next video. Goodbye.